It's only been a few days since I took the pods off of the pea plants and already the next batch is swelling up. I'm so proud of these peas. Done really well. The broccoli too, the sprouting broccoli, I've had two harvests of that. That's going to come out, I think, soon. Let's have a look at the carrots. We're getting bushy. Nothing else has chomped on these, so I'm happy about that. The Japanese onions coming along slowly in the beetroot. Getting nibbled, but going strong. Pentland javelin potatoes. Looking good and bushy. I can't remember what they were. They might be collies, cauliflowers. Mostly looking all right, one at the back a bit sad. So we've got one, two, three, four looking okay. Sprinkled some lettuce in, so we've got some small lettuces in amongst the vine weed. The Maris Piper forest is shooting up. The lavender I put in, if you might remember, I, I put it in as a temporary measure just to give it somewhere to grow. It's going really well. The vine weed certainly loves it. Um, what have we got at the back? Well, the watercress is, is coming along fine, just spreading out gently. The, these cabbages back here got pigeoned. Now it's got pigeons, so we might have one or two still surviving there. Cornfield, though. Oh, the cornfield sprouting up. What enough stuff. Anyway, there. Ridge and furrow still going on. There's lots of leaves come down, so I'm just, I'm just going to tidy that up. It doesn't need weeding, just needs tidying to look pretty. Chili mound. Chilies are starting to get new growth on. There's lots of um, weeds and things, so they can come out later. And today I'm going to put the pot uh, potatoes, tomatoes in. They're going to go in here. I've got three out of my six seeds surviving. These are the mystery tomatoes that don't have any name yet. They're doing well, so I'm going to enrich the soil. I've got a, a grow bag to chuck in and then some bone meal because the tomatoes I grew previously in pots at home, San Mazzano's, they had blossom end rot. And what causes that is a, a variety of things. One is not enough water or too much water or uh, they're drying out, not enough airflow between them and the lack of calcium. So I'm going to space them out, make sure they've got enough calcium and given the rain in the last couple of days, I think there'll be plenty well watered. So that's today's jobs. A little pottering, a little planting, enjoying the high humidity. We might get some sun. We shall see. Now I'm quite fortunate in some ways in that it's quite a sheltered spot. South is exactly that way. But I'm not going to be planting the tomatoes in a line perpendicular to south. I'm going to put them at an angle because they're going to miss most of the morning sun which comes from that direction. But the evening sun, I want to make sure that hits the fruits on this line here. So they're going to be slightly off the perpendicular. It's a bit at odds, of, you know, what I'm comfortable with because we've got lots of straight lines and, and linear bits and pieces. But what's going to be best for the tomatoes is what I'm thinking. So dig some holes, put in some extra soil, put in some extra nutrients and get the canes in. Now one tip I learned from Monty Don last week on Gardener's World was to bury them just above these leaves here because they're going to shoot out little roots either side. So I'm going to bury them quite deep. I've got the soil enrichments in. I haven't put my bone meal in, I forgot that, so best put that in before I cover this little baby up. That's the tomatoes in. Big steaks ready for them. Hopefully they're going to be big. And I've put some beetroots in next to them. Just going to add some seedlings spare. A bit of weeding on the chili mound. Not complete, completely weeded, but you know, good enough. And then the cornfield, which is looking rather good so far. I'm quite pleased with that. Bit of weeding, bit of mounding, so it looks a bit more row. Furrows and mounds. It's an hour's work, it's not bad. The sun didn't come out, but that's okay, at least it hasn't rained. 
pleased in the morning as well. Uh, bleached out. That's better. I think that might be enough for one week. Sometimes just a little job is enough to keep things ticking over. So we'll see you next time.